I mean to you? Um, unfortunately, it came with a loss, but um, you know, I always tell you guys, anytime I get hit a milestone, I'll, I'll reflect on it once I retire. Um, but to give you like a quick little, just you know, it's just the consistency and the, um, I guess just the just being in the same place for nine years, you know, you can accomplish a whole lot. And uh, with the, the, the belief that, you know, I had to make this organization give me in, you know, I earned and, you know, then it kind of was a, uh, a good relationship that turned, you know, that happened to be, be it, it became, um, you know, just the mutual respect. Um, it means, it means a lot to be able to do that um, with one franchise. Um, you know, that's a lot of points for one franchise, you know, that kind of longevity, as you sort of alluded to there, is sort of rare in, in sports and in the NBA. Uh, when you first got here, you, you've talked about how you, you thought your, your tenure would be short to be here as long as you have been and to be able to get mile, not just this milestone, but even the assist milestone you got a few months ago. How mm -hmm. much does that mean to you? How special is that to you to be able to do all of that with one franchise? But I, I would have never expected it to be uh, here and I tell you guys that all the time, but um, it just shows like, you know, in life things happen right things happen for a reason and situations happen for a reason and you know you continue to work hard and you continue to believe in yourself and you know having a city like toronto have, have back in me and you know the relationship myself masai um larry tanabam you know uh, bobby we've you know created um the relationship i had with damar um you know you know all the guys that have been through here you know I can I can keep going on naming naming guys and um, but it just shows that you know hard work pays off and um, you know in life you can't uh, you can't pick and choose where you are meant to be but when you are there you you take full advantage of it. Thanks, Kyle. Congrats again, man. Uh, great accomplishment. Thank you, Josh. Appreciate that. Next question goes to Doug Smith from the Toronto Star. Congratulations, Mr. Lowry. Ten thousand is a hell of a number. Thank you, Dougie. Thank you. One franchise. I got more points than that. Don't just let people know. I got more points than that. <laughs> <laughs> One Friday away now. I'm not counting the Memphis years. Hey, you Houston. Got I got some points in Houston. <laughs> Rick Adelman wouldn't let you shoot. Yeah. You know, about? Rick, the Rick, Rick, the reason I even started shooting jump shots. So yeah, I got I got a couple points in Houston. I got like I got like 10 in Memphis. <laughs> <laughs> um, you guys are now a quarter of the way through the season. What uh what trouble spots do you see? Um, I think just the, the trouble spots of, I think we're just still trying to figure out rotations. Um, I think, I think we're still trying to figure out how, um, we can be, uh, how good we could be defensively. Um, you know, what kind of offense, um, I think we're still just trying to figure things out and, and, you know, it, it's just a tough spot to be in because, you know, we're used to being at the team that's, you know, whatever, 15 and three right now, or whatever. We used to be in that team. And, um, you know, me and Phil would talk about it earlier. You know, if this happens when you're at the top, you know, it looks a little different. But us being, you know, 7 and 11 right now, things are just like, wow, this is, you know, this is unfamiliar territory. But for our team, we just got to continue to get better um, and work hard on, on the defensive end. You know, I think offense will come, but I think our defense has to just, you know, tighten up a little bit more. I mean, we we held them to 43%, but, you know, fouling, we fouled a lot, you know, for a little bit too much tonight. They shot 26 free throws. You know, we just got to be a little bit more disciplined, I think. Tonight, you guys seem to, you didn't take a lot of bad shots, but you missed a lot of good shots and didn't get a lot of great shots. Is that, is that a fair assessment? They, they, that team plays you to a certain way, right? The team makes you give, they, they give you certain shots that they want to give us, some mid-range shots, some, uh, you know, looks that they, you know, they give up. But, you know, if you make those shots, it's good it's good shots. But, you know, we missed some good open looks. You missed the one, Terrence missed one. But, um, you know, but when we move the ball against those guys and get to our spots, second side, we, we got everything we wanted. Great. Thanks very much. Congratulations again, Kyle. Thank you, I appreciate it, man. All right. Going next to Michael Grange from Sportsnet. Hey, Kyle. Uh, again, I'll add my congratulations. It's been amazing <laughs> to watch your uh, – Watch you, uh, watch you do your, watch you do your job. It's been fun. Thank you. I, um, I have two questions for you. One, what's your basketball explanation for for why you guys consistently are at the wrong end of the free throw number? Uh, you know, tonight was another one, but uh, you know, it's kind of been a bit of a trend this year. 
my basketball explanation? Yeah, I mean, we could say refs, right? But but uh, there's got to um, be a little. I think I think we try to be the more physical team. Uh, I think we you know we're a lot more handsy. Um, I think we um, yeah I think we try to be a, a, a little bit more of the aggress on the aggressive side. And um, there's a lot of things that I could say, but um, but basketball reason I think we're just you know we're an aggressive team. We got guys who play hard and we reach and we you know we we got some guys that are tough and and we bang and you know we we, we scrap and sometimes we get caught in the bad situations and get called for fouls. And you're not getting them when you go the other way. Uh, that part, I just can't explain. Okay. Um, there was a play in the first quarter. It was kind of a specific one where you tried to do a pick and roll with Chris. Mm-hmm. Uh, ended up a turnover, and you guys were kind of going through it a little bit yeah. towards the bench. What did you want him to do a little differently well, on that play? It's just more about the learning, right? I think the one possession before he popped, and then the second possession he rolled. And it's just kind of like finding the consistency of what he's going to do or what uh, we want him to do or what I want him to do in that situation, right? He sets a good screen. You know, I drag two, he should pop. You know, if he didn't set a good screen, but I got two, he can roll. You know, it's just a mix up of it's got to be a better line of communicating with each other and figuring each other out a little bit more. And, you know, I think, uh, you know, it's kind of one of the things where the, the, their defense kind of dictates for the bigs to pop a lot, right? They, Brooks always, always down and they drop a lot. And, and that's one of the things where, you know, just figuring out the game as, as a player, right? And helping those guys, you know, take myself, helping Chris understand where he should be at. It's just a read he needs to make a little better. We all need to make it together and help each other out. Thanks, Kyle. Great night. Thank you. Next question goes to Eric Kareen from The Athletic. Kyle, congrats. That's an awesome accomplishment. Thank you. Uh, you're proud. Um, yeah. I know your standard answer is everything sucks if you're not winning. Yeah. But is there joy to be found in, you know, this is a new, or, or not a new, but it's been a while since you've been in this situation. Is there some, maybe not joy, but is there something interesting about trying to help this team get out of this situation for you? Um, it's a challenge. Um, and that's what it is. And, you know, my, my, my joy, honestly, to be honest with you, is, is watching um, Norm, Freddie, you know, Pascal, OG grow. And, and that's my joy in, in winning basketball games. But, um, you know, I, I just want to be able to continue to play at a level where I can help these guys grow and, 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 and get better. And, um, you know, I just, I, I just am proud of those guys and the growth and the steps that they're taking. Um, to becoming, you know, better basketball players and becoming better men and becoming, you know, fathers and, and, and husbands and, you know, et cetera, et cetera. That, that's where I get the pride and, and, and the joy, you know, with being with this team. But the challenge of getting us to this uh, position where we can make the playoffs is going, that, that's fun. That's fun. It sucks when you're losing, but, um, you know, it, it, it it's kind of a challenge to make sure that all right we got to chase and we got to go be the we got to be the hunters again you know we've been the hunted the, the hunted for so long and, and now we we, we got to go hunt and um i think that that part of it's going to be pretty cool once we you know we're going to continue to get better appreciate it kyle congrats again thank you two more questions for you kalo uh first one goes to aaron rose from si.com Hey, Kyle, congrats on the milestone tonight, as everyone else has said. Um, without giving away state secrets necessarily, I'm wondering what goes into that pull-up jump shot that you uh, hit the hit the milestone on. What are you thinking <laughs> about when you're coming down the court and deciding to do it? Uh, can I give you like a basic answer? If that's what you want to give me. <laughs> Score. <laughs> Score. Um, just take what the defense is giving you, right? You know, it's transition. And uh, I, I've always said, you know, you know I go back and Dwayne Casey hated the pull-up three. And you can go back and ask him, Dwayne Casey hated that shot. <laughs> I'll tell you why I hated that shot. But I think he kind of figured out that I was going to continue to take it. And he kind of, you know, he said, all right, if you're going to take it, you better make it. And that's a shot that, you know, it, it's a good shot for, for me. And, uh, you know, it's before the defense is said. And, my theater said, and you know, Freddie passed me that ball, and I was like, "Let me, let me make this uh, basket." And I always want to try to catch the defense um, while they're uh, not set. Um, and you're getting pretty close to Chris Bosh. Have you thought about Demar? And no, I don't, how I don't, I don't even know the points of that. I mean, what's Demar? 
Yeah, DeMar was a lot more of a gunner. So he got a lot more points because he shot the ball every time. And he never looked to pass because he's a gunner. Um, and he still is a gunner. And, um, yeah, I probably won't catch him because he's a gunner. I mean, he shot the ball way too much. There's so many possessions that I was wide open and he just wouldn't pass his ball. I think he knew I was going to catch him. He's just he's a gunner. So it's his fault. It's all DeMar's fault. Thanks, Kyle. Final question is going to Yeni Torres from Tab Deportes. Hi, Ty. Hi. Um, what do you think is could be the adjustment that the team will need to do for the next game? Uh, play harder. Um, you know, we got a fast team coming in. We got to go to watch the film tomorrow um, on this game and see how we can get better. Um, you know, we got a talented team coming in. Um, Sacramento, they're coming in. We got we got to find a way to slow uh, De'Aaron Fox down. Uh, you know, he's a clear team, and Buddy Hill's a good three point shooter. Uh, but for us, we got to continue to focus on us and uh, getting better on the defensive end. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Appreciate the congratulations.